Except for vast differences in size, most TVs look pretty similar, so you might think shopping for a new one would be easy. But there are actually a lot of things to consider, some of which might be new depending on when you last bought a TV. That's why we're here to walk you through the process. One of the first decisions to make is what size TV you're looking for. TV screens are measured diagonally, and they range in size from smaller than 20 inches to larger than 80 inches. Looking for a set for your kitchen or a small bedroom? Try a smaller 24 to 32 inch set. But if you're looking for your main TV, we recommend at least a 50 to 65 inch set. Most TVs are 4K, which means they have higher resolution screens than older high definition models, so you can pretty much buy a TV as big as you want without seeing the TV's pixel structure. If you're buying a super big screen, make sure you have a comfortable viewing distance between your couch and TV. You don't want to be so close that you can't see the whole picture or so far back that you miss out on the high definition detail you're paying for. Another decision to make? LCD or OLED. Most TVs are LCD sets. They're often referred to as LED TVs because of their LED backlights. The LEDs allow LCD TVs to be very thin and energy efficient while still producing bright, vibrant images. But our tests also show that many LCDs still have a fairly narrow viewing angle despite recent improvements. That means you'll notice colors can look washed out and blacks look more like gray if you're not sitting directly in front of the TV. If this is important to you, check our TV ratings to see which sets rated best for viewing angle. OLED TVs, on the other hand, have almost unlimited viewing angles. That's just one reason to choose an OLED, but they're expensive. They generally cost more than $1,000. Another reason? They tend to top our TV ratings in the larger size categories. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. Unlike LCD TVs that require a backlight, OLED pixels give off their own light when hit with an electric current. OLED colors are vibrant, the picture is bright, and the black levels are truly black. That contrast allows images to really pop off the screen. OLEDs are only available from a few brands and mostly come in larger sizes, 48 inches and up. We expect OLED prices to fall as more manufacturers enter the market. Once you know what size and type of TV you're looking for, it's time to consider picture quality and a few key features. 4K TVs have 8 million pixels, four times the number of regular high-definition TVs, giving you greater picture detail. You no longer have to pay a premium for a 4K set, and now there's also a decent amount of 4K content available thanks to streaming services like Amazon and Netflix and 4K Blu-ray discs. And there are some 8K TVs on the market with even more pixels and greater detail. These tend to come in even larger screen sizes and have the potential to deliver razor-sharp detail with the right content, but 8K content just isn't widely available yet. HDR, or High Dynamic Range Technology, can boost a TV's brightness, colors, and contrast so that the images you see on the screen are closer to what you see in real life. On better performing TVs, HDR does all that by increasing the contrast between the brightest whites and the darkest blacks a TV can produce. But our tests show that not every TV with HDR printed on the box delivers the same rich, lifelike images. That's one reason we now provide a separate HDR score in our TV ratings. Many 4K TVs also produce more vibrant, varied colors than other sets. That's because HDR is often paired with wide color gamut or WCG capability. Standard HD TVs can display about 17 million colors, but with the wide color gamut can display up to a billion. It's like giving your TV a much bigger box of crayons to play with. You need to be playing a movie or TV show that's been mastered to take advantage of HDR and wide color gamut. CR members can get the perfect picture on their TV with our TV Screen Optimizer. We offer lab-tested optimal picture settings for some of the most popular sets dating back to spring 2013, and new models are added regularly. Most TVs sold today are smart TVs that let you access streaming video services and other online content right from the set. They can connect to the internet using your home Wi-Fi or a wired Ethernet connection. 
Many also offer cable-style streaming services, such as Hulu Plus Live TV, Sling TV, or YouTube TV, some of which require a subscription. When you're shopping, remember, if a TV doesn't have the service you want, you can always purchase a separate streaming media player like Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Google Chromecast, or Roku. These types of players let you connect to even more content. Speaking of adding streaming media players, do the math and make sure the TV you're considering has enough of the right type of connections. The most common type is HDMI. For your main TV, we recommend at least three HDMI ports for connecting a cable box, streaming player, gaming console, or Blu-ray player. Got a sound bar? Look for an HDMI ARC input. It lets you connect the sound bar using just one cable and allows you to control your sound bar with your TV remote. Consumer Reports cares about the privacy and security of your personal data. So in 2020, we started analyzing how much data a TV collects, uses, and shares, and how well that data is protected. You can see privacy and security scores for each TV in our ratings. And when it comes time to decide whether to buy an extended warranty for your new TV, we say it's generally not worth the money. For most major brands, our surveys have found that TVs have been fairly reliable.